In this video, I'm going to be explaining Backrooms Level 22, aka The Ruins Left Behind. This is a really old and abandoned level, and I think you're going to enjoy it. If you like old and abandoned things, stick around for the explanation, and I thank you for watching the video. Now let's get into it. Backrooms Level 22 is classified as a Class 5E, wow, which means that the environment is the most dangerous part of the level. Now, the level itself used to just be a normal parking garage, but at some point in time, it was colonized and lived in by people. Lots of people. Lots of people. And then it was ultimately abandoned. The people who lived here were from a secretive society that lived here sometime before 1925 because that is when the level was first discovered. And when it was first found, explorers didn't think that the level was anything special because it just looked like a parking garage. It was filled up with cars and old shopping carts and those shopping carts were actually full of materials and supplies. So, so many supplies that it attracted enough people that it became kind of a hub for trade. In the year 1987, level 22 was actually declared as a micronation, and it was independent from any faction in the backrooms. After this happened, the level filled up with people, and by 1990, those people decided to seal off and gate any entrance to the level so it wouldn't become overrun with new people. Level was getting too crowded, and the supply could not keep up with the demand. The group that stayed named themselves M's Table and they started to negotiate trading with Meg and other societies, and they lived in tents in the parking garage. They mined concrete and used those resources from the shopping carts to build their little empire and to trade with. And the group was actually really secretive about how it worked, and almost no one knows anything about their actual social life, politics, or what they did in their spare time. I mean, you're stuck in a parking garage. But what is known is that the level's people were split into really sharp classist systems, where the most important people lived higher up inside of the parking garage, and the less important people lived below them on the lower levels. The people at the top kind of lived like kings, in a way, and the people below them were like their servants. Kind of lame. But all that didn't last long because the level became abandoned by all of its inhabitants. The actual cause for everyone leaving isn't fully known, but it's probably because they physically destroyed so much of the level, the concrete and stuff, it just almost collapsed. So they decided to leave before it did. So now that it's abandoned and all crumbled and debris everywhere, level 22 just looks like the debris of a car park with smashed cars and smashed tents everywhere. And that's why it's dangerous because of how easy everything crumbles under your feet. The higher up you go, the more dangerous it is because the floor can just fall right up from under you and you can fall thousands and thousands of feet. The reason it all collapsed is, like I said, the colony that lived there mined concrete to trade and they mined out massive caverns where that concrete was. And after a while, that chipped away at the structural integrity of the entire level and it eventually fell. There's this chart on the Wikidot that actually details how many people were estimated to live on each floor, so you can go check that out if you want to. There are no current bases or outposts here, and none have even tried to start one up since M-Stable fell. There's no point. To enter this crumbly level for whatever reason you have, you can find a door on level 21 or 23 to lead to the bottom floor of this level. And to exit, you have to go back in the way you came because, like I said earlier, lots of those exits were barred and closed off. So that was the level 22 explanation. Hope you liked it. It was very interesting to think about how classist systems worked in the back rooms. Like you never really think about people setting up an entire civilization and how some people matter more in it. It's kind of weird and it's an interesting take on a backroom level. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching me. Make sure to go check out my second channel and help me get over to 50k. That'd be cool. And if you don't mind, drop a sub on this channel so I can get to 500k and buy the backrooms pants. With all of that said and out of the way, I will see you in the next video, which is over Backrooms Level 23. It's one of my favorite levels, and I hope to see you there. Peace!